principle number three of identifying a suitable marriage partner. I'm calling it the principle of realistic approach. The principle of realistic approach that you have to be realistic in your approach, in your search for a suitable marriage partner. And here I'm talking to both ladies and gentlemen. While talking with Abraham, the chief servant brought up the possibility of the woman not wanting to return to Canaan. Because Abraham had told the chief servant, I want a woman who is not a Canaanite. So go to the land of Naho and take a wife, bring a wife or choose a wife for my son Isaac from that land. So uh, the chief servant brought this possibility. What if that woman refuses? You see, you must be realistic that you can go to approach a lady or a gentleman and they say no. But you had dreamt that they, <laughs> having a wedding with them. But they say no, I'm not marrying you. So you must be realistic in your approach. Be ready for a yes or a no. And actually, Abraham replied that God would send his angel before the, the servant to guide the process. But then he said also, if the woman, this is Abraham said, if the woman is unwilling to come back with you, then you will be released from this oath of mine. So Abraham tells the chief servant, if that woman refuses to come with you, or rather, if she refuses the approach or the offer to become my son's wife, this oath that you have made today will not bind you. So Abraham knew his God very well, and he knew that the angel of the Lord would guide the servant, but still he was realistic that things may not go as he expected. Please, as you go to approach someone, even if you have prayed for 40 days and 40 nights, be realistic in your approach. That you are approaching a human being, not an angel. They can say no. And that's why they can say no. So, even after seeking God honestly, when God allows a breakup or some difficulty to happen, don't question God or get mad at him. There is what we call reality of the matter. So don't start getting mad to God and cursing God when he allows a breakup of a relationship. And seeking God's guidance does not necessarily mean you will find you are made the first time you date somebody or go through a courtship. I have had a narrative going like this, that the reason why your relationship broke up is because it, it did not have God. And I want to correct that as a pastor and as a counselor in my view and say this. God can allow you to go through a relationship that is not getting to marriage, but is temporary for his own reasons. And that, that brings us to the fourth principle, which I'm going to explain to you.